Okay, so let's talk about basic algebra, just basic mathematics. So this is what we call an inequality. And hopefully uh, you're looking at this and you can understand these symbols right here. You've seen these. This uh, has to do with, I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of a hint, uh, less than, greater than, less than, or equal to, greater than, or equal to, etc. So this is the topic of inequalities. And we have this specific inequality right here, and I'm asking you, how many solutions does this inequality have? So I'm going to kind of purposely be vague about it right now because I want you to think about it. But if you know the answer, go to put that into the comment section. Of course, I'm going to cover this uh, in detail in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, if you're struggling to math, uh, there is hope, okay? You could do much, much better than you currently are, so don't give up. Basically, to do well in math, it requires two things. One, you got to have a strong work ethic. you got to be willing to work hard. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you need great math instruction, clear, understandable, comprehensive, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it. Uh, in the description of this video. Also, if you happen to be uh, studying for a particular test that has a math section on it, a dedicated math section, things like the GED, SAT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, definitely check out my middle and high school uh, uh, math programs for homeschoolers that they get excellent reviews. And then also, if this video helps you out, don't forget to help me out by liking it and subscribing to my channel. Okay, so let's get into this problem. How many solutions does this inequality have? Well, first of all, let's kind of interpret what's this uh, inequality saying. So what symbol is this? Okay, is this the greater than or less than? Okay, so this symbol it happens to be this uh, symbol right here. Well, the way to remember the difference is if you notice, this symbol kind of looks like a kind of sideways L. So this is the less than, okay? So this is the best way to kind of remember remember these symbols so you don't confuse this. You're like, is this greater than or less than? Well, the way it's written right here, this is the less than symbol, okay? So that's the first thing. Then we have this variable X right here in the center. And what is that saying? Well, X represents some number, right? So this is, let's just gonna put in a number, number or numbers. This is important, okay? Not just one number maybe, but maybe more than one number, a number or numbers. So that's what X represents, some possible value. So what we're saying is a number or numbers, okay, that are where three is less than, i.e. this number is greater than three, okay? So these numbers, all the numbers that are greater than three, okay, i.e. that this number three is less than whatever number this is. Now at the same time, we have to look at this part of this inequality. So this is saying this number happens to be less than six. So there's kind of two things going on in this particular inequality. We call this kind of inequality a compound inequality. So uh, just to kind of give you an example of just a basic linear inequality. So if you have X is this symbol, three, this is what? Well, this doesn't look like an L. This is the other one. So this is greater greater than. So this is X is greater than three or a number or numbers that are greater than three. Okay, so that's how this, this right here would be interpreted. So here we have a range of numbers, right? So we have numbers that were um, that are greater than three, and we're looking at it this way, uh, but at the same time less than six. So if that kind of helps you, uh, again, go ahead and tell me how many solutions this inequality has. So what does that mean to have a solution to an inequality? Well, basically, uh, what number, numbers, uh, number or numbers, let me kind of uh, fix that for a second, make this true, this statement right here true, well, then that is a solution. So let's go ahead and start replacing X with some actual numbers. Let's plug in for, uh, just to make this simple, let's plug in four and let's see if this uh, makes sense, okay? So is four greater than three? Yes, this checks right here. And at the same time, four is less than six, all right? So four is what we call a solution. Okay, it is 
a uh, uh, a solution to this inequality. Let me just kind of uh, say that. Now, is it the only solution? So we could say, all right, four is a solution. Well, let's plug in another number. How about five? Okay, so that's, uh, let's take a look if, if five works. Is five greater than three? Yes. Is five less than six as well? Yes, it is. So five works as well. Okay, so these are examples of solutions to this inequality. But again, I wanted to know right here, how many solutions? That's the question, not give me a couple of solutions. So how many solutions do we have? Well, now if you start looking at this, you're saying, well, hmm, well, can we just write a whole bunch more numbers? Let's say, how about uh, 3.0001, okay? Is that a solution? Well, is 3.001 greater than 3? Yes, that is. That is true, okay? And is 3.001 at the same time less than 6? Yes, that's true as well. So hopefully this right here is going to give you a little bit of a, a uh, kind of an indication to be like, man, there's probably a lot of numbers will, that will satisfy this inequality. And this is the exact case, okay? When it comes to inequalities, there's never, it's not like algebra in terms of a basic equation like 2x is equal to 8. Here, the solution to this equation is x is equal to 4. This has one uh, solution, okay? One and only one solution to this equation. When it comes to inequalities, inequalities have infinite number of solutions. So, if you put that down into the comment section, well, I must go ahead and give you a nice, lovely little happy face and A++, 130% uh, and multiple stars, because that is pretty awesome, okay? Inequalities have infinite amount of solutions. Let's take a look at another basic example. Um, how about X is greater than three? Okay, so here is a nice basic inequality. How many numbers satisfy this inequality? Okay, make this true. Well, any number that is greater than 3 makes this true. How many numbers uh, are, in fact, greater than 3? Infinite amount of numbers. So this brings me to kind of like my main kind of point in this particular um, uh, video here, this little micro lesson, is that inequalities, unlike equations, okay, are typically going to have equations are going to have, generally speaking, I've got to, because there's all sorts of uh, type of equations in mathematics, but typically for like uh, most of you out there studying any sort of algebra course, are going to have a finite amount of solutions. Okay, so when you see things with equal signs, this is going to have a fixed number of solutions. Inequalities always have an infinite number of solutions. So because of that, we want to express our answers uh, with graphs. Okay, so that's why it's important to know how to graph inequalities. So let's go to take a look at the um, uh, the graph for this one, all right? So again, all numbers that are greater than three at the same time, less than six. Well, let's plot three and six on a number line so we can kind of see that graphically. Uh, these are gonna be what we call open circles, meaning that the solution to this inequality does not include this number, okay? So for example, three right here, three is not greater than three. Now, if I had, is uh, let's kind of fix this up right here. If this was our inequality, three is less than or equal to, x is less than uh, is less than six. If I have three right here, then this would satisfy this equation, but that's not the case. This is just a quick video on inequalities. If you're kind of confused about this, you might want to start uh, off by checking out my more basic uh, videos on inequalities or maybe check out one of my courses like pre-algebra that really kind of cover all this thoroughly. But let's just kind of get back to why we have graphs that go with inequalities because graphs illustrate that, hey, we're talking about an infinite amount of points. So anyways, to get back here to graph this particular inequality, all the numbers, okay, x, that are greater than 3 but at the same time less than 6 fall between this range right here. Okay, so greater than 3 and less than six are all these numbers. So this is the way you, you would um, graph uh, the solution to this inequality is we plot this numbers three and six, and then we draw a line right there. And these are open circles, okay, right like so. So I will um, kind of just uh, make this nice and clear. 
if we had equal to, you would fill in these circles like, uh, like so. But just, you know, asking yourself, how many numbers are between three and six? Well, you know, it's not just like, oh, there's four and there's five. There's like two numbers. No, there's all the decimal values uh, between these two numbers. These are infinite amount of numbers between here and here. Okay, so you might not uh, think that, but that's in fact the case. So again, the uh, really the big point to this video is answering this question, how many solutions does inequality have? Well, again, inequalities have infinite amount of solutions, even the most basic, simplest little inequalities. And that's really what uh, I want to kind of make clear to you in this little video. Okay, so inequality is a big subject. A um, couple things about inequalities. One, you got to be really good at solving equations before you really get into inequalities. But inequalities are absolutely critical in your success in algebra if you're at that level and beyond. So it's important that you understand um, how to work with inequalities. And if you need help with inequalities, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel, and, uh, YouTube channel, and I teach inequalities in all of my courses, uh, all my algebra courses. So if you're kind of new to inequalities, I would suggest like my pre-algebra course. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.